a good fish. Dang, just listen to that drag peel. It never gets old. And I've got it tight. I mean, I'm holding him right here with the drag. Nothing's being peeled. And if he takes off, he can pull that drag and it'll start slipping. There it goes. Look at him. He is not happy. Just to kind of help chum it up a little bit and that'll be fine. That'll get some bait over there where we're going to cast it. I'll try to put this in about five feet of water. Okay. Put a little ball on there. Gotta look where that one is at. Trying to fan cast them a little. Okay. This one got a little farther left. Straight out. It's about four foot of water right there. fishing so that's good put this here get it out of our way trip on it all right there we go simple rig we got our method feeder well we got bobber stop method feeder another little bobber stop down to a swivel and then we've got a little hair rig that's fluorocarbon line and that is a pink pop-up corn from Corda. Um, I really do like their fake corn. You can get a ton of, you know, different ones and some Asian manufacturers off Amazon. You can get like, I don't know, a thousand for like $15. Um, but they're very rubbery and they do break off the hooks. Whereas this, I love the fact that Corda gives you your bait stops in the same color as the corn. So if you look closely, that'll stop wiggling. If you look closely at that, you'll see a little pink piece of plastic down there next to the corn. And so that bait stop matches the color. It just looks, just looks better to me. Um, I don't think it makes a huge difference to these fish, but if, uh, if it gives you confidence and you like it, why not? Whew, that's a fish. There we go. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's going around the corner. Come on. Nope, can't do that. That is not where you can go. Nope, no, 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 no. Don't break off. Come on. I gotta give him some pressure back this way because he is fighting hard for that corner. Oh, come on. Yep, broke off. Dang it. Mm. He got around some logs. Shoot. So we gotta tie a whole new rig on this one. Ugh. All right, well, dang. Hmm. That stinks. Oh, there we go. Oh. Nope. Ah, got off. Hmm. Dang. 
second one to break off I don't know what to do I think they're just wrapping us around something in that spot or ripping the hook right out their mouth that could be a better explanation for it we're gonna put a tiger nut on this guy waste one of my pop-up corn since they get you know popped every time so let's get our baiting needle let's get a tiger nut out of here it's a pretty uh I forget when I even made these up it's been a while that's eh, not a good stick Gotta try to get in the center. Okay. That last rig could have been just poorly tied now that I, you know, think about it. Okay, there's that. We gotta try to get one of these bait stops in here and pull that up to it. I don't like these bait stops though. So. Yep. Knew it. Ugh. Pulled right on off. Dang. <sighs> okay. That will help. Pulled it down over the knot just a little. Need old kayak guy out here to kind of kind of move. Don't want to be rude, but come on, buddy. <clears throat> Dang it! There we go. Okay. Now we got a rig ready to roll. <sighs> I'm just not believing. We've had two breakoffs. Same rod, so they're in the same spot out there, and they keep getting free and breaking our leaders. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but it does, considering the spot. That these baits end up sitting in. They're sitting on a drop off, and it's a very rocky drop off I've been over there on a boat it's hard bottom all right see if we can't get it this time she's out there where it needs to be bottom all right flip her on got some room to run we're gonna give these another five actually you know what well I don't know where the bell for this one went I was gonna say let's freshen them up but where's my bell it's weird Huh. Usually it's under your feet if you can't. All right, well. Oh, shoot. Fell down here. Mm. Okay. At least I 
things are tiny slip out of my hands all right so here's that let's go ahead and we'll just rebate all of them you know let's go ahead and get some fresh bait out there and work our way from that point that way we know we got food out there this one again and some grass used to never bring up grass in these spots i don't know if that's a a fall pattern type thing where some of the you know certain vegetation grows better in the cooler months or what all right let's load her up i'm gonna put a bunch of bait in the area and i'm gonna tell myself that the two we lost were not the same fish but also in my head they are the same fish and that would be kind of funny that he came back to the same spot and ended up breaking off again funny for us not for him and well not really for us either we lost the fish all right here we go now let's do the last one i can't i don't even remember the last time i fished over here it's been that long months oh one on the right's already getting pulled we just got it back in the water let's get this one out of the water and maybe we can get it back in there dang this one hooked again too I mean, hopefully that's happening on the, uh, you know, as we're reeling in and it's not just sitting out there tangled up on the cast, because that would be the problem, obviously, because then it's sitting out there all tangled up. You ain't going to catch much of that. All right, let's pack her in there good. All right. Okay, that kayak. I was wondering where he was gonna go. Thought he was gonna come back over our stuff. Okay. Oh, there it is. Dang, oh my God. Are we on? Okay, all right, now he's going left. I'm gonna keep tension on this one without giving him much slack because that is how we keep losing these fish. Give him a little bit of drag. Not much. Keep him out of all that mess. Come on. Where's he going? Can't tell if he's already over our line or what. I was going to come up underneath this one. Oh, goodness. I think he's already under it. Oh man, You're giving us a headache, ain't you, buddy? Okay, keep them tight. Maybe fix this one. Ugh. All right, there he is. Good size. Do not break off. Do not break off. Take your time with him. He's looking pretty good. Gonna wear him out a little bit here before we try to net him. Good size. It's a real good size. Try to bring him right over here and net him. Looks like he's hooked good in the mouth. Not giving him a whole lot of play. We done lost two today. We could always lose this one right here too at the bank. Nothing, nothing says we can't. Get him in here a little bit closer and I'll get the net out there. Oh 
and this and this net. It's almost, it's too big at some times. It's perfect size at others. Okay. Oof. All right. That's a good fish right there, boys. That is a good fish. That's over a 10 pound. That is a solid carp. Got the tiger nut. Look at that. Well, you hooked a little crooked on the hook there. Let me see if I can't pop it without having to get pliers. But I may have to. All right, let's see if we got them pliers because. pop you free <clears throat> okay there we go throw that out so we keep it good all right okay Woo. all right well make sure this camera's on yeah all right we got us a solid solid just Gorgeous fish. Oh, maybe this is the guy who's breaking us off because look at that. He's probably every bit of 12, 12, 13 pounds. I mean, that is a, that's a girthy fish. Big shoulders on him. That tail, that gold and orange. So pretty. All right, buddy. A little dirty from going through the muck, but you're a pretty fish. Give him a kiss. All right. Let's get you back on. Going in there. All right. Thank you for the fight, my friend. That was fun. All right. There he goes. Okay. Let's get that on back out there. That was, that was fun, fun, fun. That was a good fight. Real good fight. All right, <sighs> got him in that spot though. That's that's what we need consistently. And shoot, hair rig done broke off. <sighs> Darn it. Okay. Well, let's put another one on here. <sighs> I've got a lot of leaders to be tying later. another tiger nut though is that that worked I got him over here on the bank
ah, didn't have this camera on, but been working this one for 30 seconds now. He is, he's gonna get us caught up in something. He's already in something, there he is. Okay, got him out. Slowly gotta work him back this way. Had us all tangled up in our lines while ago. There he is. 15, 20 yards from us. He ain't giving up, but I ain't seen him either, so I don't know how big he is. Could be a good size. I mean, he's peel and drag for a minute. Don't you go into the log there. Come on. Yep. Turn on back. Still haven't got a good glimpse of him. There we go. Finally saw him. He ain't he ain't that big after all. Just a pretty good size. Not a giant. He might be the smallest carp I've ever caught. Got him. All right. There we go. Whew. Yeah. Whew. It's a good one. Oh, puppy free. All right, there we go. Smallest carp I've ever caught. Nope. There we go. Throw you out there. Pretty old guy. All right, a little tiny, tiny fella. All right. There we go. Whew. All right. Yeah, common carp, yeah. They're fun to catch. Is this still real shallow against the bank over here? Oh, yeah. It, it, uh, like it, is down there. it gets to about four foot once you get to that, that point right there. It, it, just, it drops off into a channel right there, but uh, everything up here is about two to four feet. Gotcha. Super shallow, yeah. Appreciate it. All right. I can see some activity happening out there above where our bait's sitting but we got kind of tapped a couple times with no takedown so let's see i'm mostly paying attention to these two on the right well the middle and the right one left one i've kind of already forgotten about ignoring it for the most part don't think we'll hook into anything but i just seen a cart out there to the right about 10 feet from where our our uh our feeder is granted that's on the surface it's about six to eight feet right there so no telling if he'll go down or if they're feeding at the bottom you know carper a uh, A school oh well let me turn to this camera i don't know if this camera can even see me but carp are a a schooling type fish so you know typically if there's one there's there's going to be several 
nearby they don't travel alone very often and uh shoot we're about to get this left one. Oh my god are we let's see has he got it god he dropped it dang had it and dropped it i went to set the hook in him <laughs> well we got like enough time maybe throw it back out there one time pack it real quick there we go just a quick handful of bait and get that hook back out there let's see if we can't get it this is the one i done gave up on and sure enough it got hit so all right let's go let's go let's go let's go i think one of these other ones just got hit but i'm bumping into everything so i could have bumped a rod not known it okay there we go all right so what i was saying was you know carp they're a schooling fish so you know if you get one there's bound to be others nearby and uh with that being the case if i just don't see carp say there's 10 of them they're all in an area feeding on the bait you get one causes a panic they all leave they're still bait in the area so i just feel like they would kind of congregate back towards the food and your bait and i feel like that's why we've had three hits on this right one is that they found there's food in that little pocket and they keep coming back and back and back to it because we've had two misses one landed on the right one one landed on the middle smallest carp i've ever landed probably a four pounder and then we just missed something on this left one so i think we're good i mean i think we'll i think we got you know like i said we got like a few minutes left let's see if we can't snag this last one moving now but it's the wind it's been very breezy today so makes it a little tough to see movements the subtle movements you got to wait until the rod kind of folds which which again is fine that's one of the most exciting things about carp fishing is or really bank fishing for any large fish catfish carp um if you're surf fishing you know in in salt water setting your rods in the holders and letting them go it's super fun here's this middle one getting hit i think he's got it i think he's still on there i think he's already hooked yep that was it i knew it i knew it knew it knew it knew it knew it he took he got hooked and he was swimming to us <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. Come here. Where you at? You're going under my line, ain't you? And you're swimming this way. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. This is going to be it for us. We got to get out of here. But this will be good to end the day on a fish. Three on the bank is not bad. A good fish. Dang, just listening to that drag peel, it never gets old. And I've got it tight. I mean, I'm holding him right here with the drag. Nothing's being peeled. And if he takes off, he can pull that drag and it'll start slipping. There it goes. Look at him. He is not happy. And there's a chance we double up right here. And get something on that right one he's still peeling it look at that rod kind of wearing him out a little bit because 
the way he hit, you know, he got hooked and then he knew it. He started swimming towards the bank. Yeah, he's bigger. Ten pounder. Eh, maybe not. He feels good, but he don't look good from here. What I'm seeing of him. Nah, he ain't ten. Under ten, that's another tiny one. I should, I'm gonna contemplate keeping him for bait. Using for some catfish bait this weekend. Come on, buddy. You're done. You are done. Hooked to good and everything. Come on. Let's get you up here so I can get out of here. Tighten up that drag now that we can see him. He ain't. He ain't a giant at all. Uh, maybe five pound. Well, four or five pounder. I've never caught caught him this small, to be honest with you. I always I've caught a handful of these, and that's it. They're just a lot bigger, typically ten pound and up. There's not a lot of small ones in these waters where I'm fishing, which is great. Come on. Nope. Come on. Barely got him. There's so much mud in here. Gets all in your net. Well, it's hard to say how big this guy is. You know what? He's probably 10. This is another... Another 10 pounder. He's pushing 10 if he ain't 10. A lot better than I thought he was. Dang. All right. Let's unhook you, buddy. Don't want your. Don't want to hurt you. There we go. Get you out of there. All right. You are pretty. You're all covered up in this muck. All right. Yeah, you're 10 pound. Nope. There you go. I knew he was going to do it. Just trying to flip you around. Yeah, you're a 10. Easy 10 pounder. I mean, that guy's. Look at this from this angle. That is a wide, wide fish across them shoulders. There he goes. We'll get him back in there. That was a good fight. A little 10 pound carp. Give him a kiss. All right. Thank you, buddy. Now I gotta go. I gotta get home. All right. There we go. There he goes. All right. Let's get on out of here now. We gotta go. Whew. Well, all right, y'all. Um, that's gonna wrap it up. I am five minutes late already, so I gotta load up and get out of here, but uh, what we get? We got three carp on the bank. We lost two, missed one, because I tried to hook him, hook set him, and uh, missed that one. We got three on the bank, two 10 pounders, probably a four to five pounder. I should have kept him from bait, but oh well. Um, any rate, just, you know, just I needed to catch a fish, so I came to a spot that, you know, has paid off in the past and, you know, something I know where it works. I've struck out a little bit from the bank recently. So anyway, um, trying to think. I'm going to get out and probably catfish again soon. So starting to get colder, start chasing those big blues. But uh, until then, I'm going to sprinkle in some carp fishing because they're just fun. That is, a, That was an awesome fight. I mean, that even the little five-pounder, I mean, they feel like a 20-pound fish. I mean, they're just so strong. So... All right, I'm going to reel these in and get on out of here. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe to the channel. Um, been, been having some good growth, but I'd love to, you know, keep growing the channel, producing a little bit more content, um, doing a little bit more, you know, different videos. I love all kinds of fishing, so... Um, 
that rod on the right's distracting me it's moving but uh yeah i'd love to put out you know more content different content so let's just uh we'll try to keep growing the channel keep putting out decent little you know fishing trips and maybe some how to's in between but uh all right i gotta go so appreciate you guys watching see you on the next one thanks